Hey guys, Yomi here again, and today I thought I'd go back and play some Battlefield 3. It's actually been a pretty good while since I've played it uh, for, for an extended period of time, and I have to say I was really enjoying it. Um, of course, I, I was getting irritated at parts, and that was actually my own fault. I was making some poor decisions in this particular match, but it I still have that same feeling I had a year ago, at least when when this was the game to play um, and I think Battlefield 3 is gonna be a very good game that stands the test of time uh, but of course maybe Battlefield 4 might become one as well I'm playing and communicating with my friend King Bryce and I go through about six or seven guns in this match alone just trying to find the right gun for this uh, level because the previous match I w it was also on no shark canals and I was using the, the F2000 and um, I did pretty well but I don't like using the same gun uh, two games in a row unless I'm like grinding for an attachment or, or something but I was not so I was trying to find something different to use so I go through two shotguns, a PDW and three or four assault rifles just to find the right one and uh, end up having a pretty mediocre game for me but what I really wanted to discuss was, like, what was it about Battlefield 3 that made it so much more enjoyable than Battlefield 4? You know, apart from Battlefield 4 being, like, buggy as hell since release. But aside from that, in, in the gameplay, in, in look itself, why, why was Battlefield 3 so much more successful? And to me, I think a big part of this is um, a graphic style. Like you notice, Battlefield 3 and Battlefield 4 have very distinct, different graphical styles. Uh, Battlefield 3, honestly, is a bit more fluid, and then there's that that blue tone that all of the all of the maps has that the the entire game has, uh, just this blue coloring over everything. And I actually enjoyed that. I I thought it actually looked more realistic, um, and it set Battlefield 3 apart from other shooters because uh, all the other shooters just have like a standard uh, a standard lighting uh, style but Battlefield 3 is blue some people didn't like that but I thought it was very good um, also if you if you know level cap uh, he did a video on this um, the the movement of just anything in the game is so much smoother and more realistic looking uh, in Battlefield 4 they do they do appear kind of jittery whenever the soldiers are moving around and doesn't look natural at all and I think the the fluidity of Battlefield 3's uh, movement and just ga general gameplay is basically what what set it above the rest and um, yeah it, it it has set a bit of a legacy and maybe it set the bar too high that was why Battlefield 4 was viewed so poorly but to be honest, Battlefield 4 as it stands now could be a good competitor with Battlefield 3. We, we know that since the, the most recent, that gigantic patch, um, the game has almost every single aspect of the game has been fixed now. Of course, there's some things that are still more powerful than others. Um, but the movement speed has been increased in Battlefield 4 to match that of Battlefield 3. And, um, well, I don't particularly care for the graphics of Battlefield 4 as much as Battlefield 3. Well, texturally they are better. Um, the style, the overall style of them I, I think is less aesthetically pleasing than the Battlefield 3 one. And I'm really big on graphics. I mean, when it comes down to it, it's the gameplay that matters, but I, but I think graphics comes in a close second to me just because I enjoy <laughs> I enjoy like having this freaking orgy for the eyes to see how far technology is advancing but also Battlefield 4 um, is becoming much more balanced in the game gunplay and it has a lot more different gameplay to offer to the player I believe than Battlefield 3 there's a lot more weapons vehicles uh, map variety uh, I think it, it offers a lot more to someone who's looking for a dynamic game, a game with a lot of options. So I think Battlefield 4 might actually be better, if not even, with Battlefield 3. Of course, um, 
there will always be those diehard fans of Battlefield 3, but to be honest, a lot of people didn't like Battlefield 3 after Bad Company 2 because Bad Company 2 was amazing and it's set the bar really high for for modern shooters in general. It may not have been as high pace as the Call of Duty franchise, but it set a high bar that Battlefield 3 pretty much met, but there was there was still many people who don't like Battlefield 3 either, just like there's people that don't like Battlefield 4. So, um, I think that Battlefield 4 might ha might stand the test of time as well, uh, the way it has gone, because DICE has been working their butts off, they put tons of time into fixing this game, uh, it's, it's definitely a, la a labor of love for them, and I think it's actually showing now, um, so yeah, we... Only, only time will tell. I mean, maybe a few years from now, there'll still be plenty of servers in Battlefield 4, and maybe in Battlefield 3, there won't be so many. So, uh, we have yet to find that out. And personally, I hope Battlefield 4 does well, because I do enjoy the game in general. So, anyway, if you guys like this, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Definitely go back and play some Battlefield 3 every once in a while. That's what I do. It, just to freshen things up a bit and to give you a bit of perspective. And let me tell you, that perspective is very noticeable, if that makes any sense. <laughs> so, anyway, goodbye and good hunting. <laughs>